Okay, so you've now written your paper, prepared it, edited it, cleaned it, you've submitted it to the journal, the journal editor considered it, sent it out for review, the journal editor got reviews back and sends you a response. This is one of the uh, least known parts of the process because not all of us know what to do when we get these responses back. Let me give you some examples and some illustrations. To me, the way you should manage this process is think about having your hand full of coins. If you're able to say to the editor, oh yes, that's a good point, correct it. Oh yes, that's a good point, correct it. If you're able to do that, you don't spend any coins. But if some reviewer says, I strongly disagree with this, the authors are wrong, they need to correct this, or this paper isn't publishable, if you can't accept that assertion, if you disagree with the reviewer, then you're going to have to spend some of those coins. If you spend so many of those coins that your hand is empty, then the editor is going to end up rejecting your paper. So the question is, how do we manage this process as positively as possible with the editor. So a first step in the process is to understand the editor's response. And this can be difficult. When I was publishing my doctoral dissertation, I got a letter back from an editor. I read it, maybe a little too quickly, but I read it and I thought, oh, my manuscript was rejected. And I filed the manuscript away and I thought, I'll deal with it some other day. And then I was in a colleague's office, I saw exactly the same letter sitting on his desk, and I asked him about it, and he said, oh yeah, that journal sent me that response, I made a few corrections and they accepted it. And so literally I went back to my file cabinet, I pulled out that same letter from the same editor, I made a few corrections, and the editor accepted the paper. So, this is a, a, a first step where you have to understand what it is the editor is saying to you. So thank you very much for submitting your manuscript to Ecology. The reviewers and I appreciated the work you've accomplished. Based on the reviews, we will not be able to accept this manuscript for publication. That sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? But then it says, at this time. Ah. We would be willing to consider a much revised version. There the door is open based on the review comments. Okay? So what the editor is saying is, if you keep it the way it is, I'm not accepting this paper. But if you can make some concessions to the reviewers, if you can learn some lessons from these other smart people who are reading your manuscript, then the editor is open to the idea of accepting the manuscript. So you need to read that letter very carefully and understand what it means. So here are some generalities. Whenever you can, when you're responding to reviewers, say, okay, say, yes, say, I accept, say, done. When you can't say, okay, then try your best to be reasonable. Try to make some changes. Try to meet them in the middle. And then when you really disagree, you have to give a good, clear reasoning as to why you really disagree. But remember, here, and to a lesser degree here, you're spending those coins that you have in your hand. Now, strategically, you have to remember something. Finding reviewers is one of the hardest tasks that an editor has. The editor may have 20 papers sitting on his or her desk, and has to find two or three reviewers to give smart, informed opinions about each one of those papers. And those reviews may take two or three or five or ten hours of the reviewer's time. So this is not an easy task. So what you need to do is be agreeable enough with the editor and be clear enough when you disagree that the editor is going to say, hmm, okay, this author really responded cogently and intelligently to the reviews. I'm not going to go back through this process of finding reviewers. Instead, I'm going to accept the paper without further review. That's what you're after. That's your goal 
and responding to the reviews. So when you respond to reviews, I like to be very, very clear. So what I do is I take the, the document that the editor sends me from the reviewers and I atomize it. So the reviewer says, offer a bridge across scales in line 28, statement is not explained or supported, should be removed. And again, the ideal is I say, done. Same here. Then sometimes the reviewers give you more general comments. The paper is very long relative to the point it makes. Sections could be shortened, misspelled considerably. This section could be much shorter. And so I can't just say done because I need to give the editor some detail as to how I did it. So I say the manuscript has been shortened quite a bit with two major sections removed or shortened. So again, this is the ideal set of responses. I don't spend any of those coins in my hand making these responses because I'm just saying, okay, yeah, the, the reviewer had a very good point. I took it into account and I responded in this way. Sometimes, however, you disagree. That happens, okay? We're all smart people. The reviewers are smart and you're smart. Doesn't mean you agree. So when you disagree, you need to be very clear and very explanatory about why. So here, for the same manuscript, we get uh, a long paragraph that, frankly, my co-author and I disagreed with quite a bit. And so we outline, again, very clearly, this is the response and that's the criticism. The reviewer is basically criticizing us on the basis that we have neglected what we consider to be the main point of the paper. So I just spent some coins, okay? I just, uh, I'm clearly going to disagree with the reviewer about this one. This might be kind of the worst thing that I can do because notice that I basically say, we do not see a way of fixing the manuscript to this end because it's already our main point. What we're saying is, we're not going to do anything in response to this comment. That's bad. Okay, you spend the coins for that. Much better would be to find a way, some way, find a way to say, uh, in response to the reviewer's comment, we edited this paragraph in this way, trying to find some more common ground. That would spend fewer coins from your hand. Here's another example of this kind of conflictive response. Here the editor says, uh, there's been quite a lot of literature recently questioning how adequate a statistic AUC is for testing goodness of fit. You can go to another part of the biodiversity informatics training curriculum for a module on exactly that subject. Well here our response is, the reviewer and the editor are quite correct that recent papers have criticized the use of, of AUC for the, this sort of exercise. But then we go on to say, indeed four of the authors of this manuscript were authors on two of the major papers criticizing that technique, which is to say, we understand, okay? We understand, we agree, and we see our manuscript as it stands as sufficient. But notice that it took three paragraphs to develop this justification. You're spending coins out of your hand. Better is to find a way to say, um, we see that the wording could have been misinterpreted, and so we've adjusted the wording here, here, and here, or we've added something, or we've adjusted. But find some way of saying that I responded positively. 